Welcome to the McGizzy and Daddy Show. It is almost Christmas, so I've been wondering, what kind of gift will I get from Santa? I think I've been a very nice daddy. Wait a minute. I think I hear something around the chimney. What could it be? I don't know. Ah, 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 what? Ah, what? Ah, yeah, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you? Uh, I am Santa's agent. You're Santa's agent? Yes. What are you doing? You've been a very bad boy this year, so you get a piece of coal. A piece of coal? That's not very good for a rock collection, but I've been a very good daddy. Oops, wrong address. Oh, oh, good. Be back. Okay, oh, that's much better. Whew. I thought we had a serious problem going on. I've been a good daddy, so now I wonder, since it's almost Christmas, what good gift will Santa's agent bring me for being a very good daddy? Let's see if we can find... Oh, I think he's coming. Hello, Santa's agent. Hello. Do you have a good gift for me this time? Yes. Oh, what is it? It's something that you've always wanted. Oh, what is that? A copper... A copper agate. Oh, you're right. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this copper agate. This is special. You know why? You can only find this at one mine in the UP, and it's the copper has replaced some of the banding on the agate, so it's kind of rare and very special because I love copper, and I love the UP. And it's very rare. This is a great Christmas gift, Mr. Santa's agent. Thank you so much. Thank you, but I'm not Santa's agent. I'm your son. Oh, yeah. Now I see. Oh, thank you for that gift. And we've got, guess what? We've got a lot, another, a lot of other nice things to show our audience today. Things that maybe they might wish for uh, if they've been nice this year that they could add to their rock collection. Just like we did with ours. What it's do you like, think about that? Good. Yeah. So, what do we have to start to show people today besides the copper agate? What's next? This is a hard choice. Oh, it is a hard choice. You can't see what I see, but I see so many nice things to add to your rock collection. It's unbelievable. It's like a winter wonderland. Walking in a winter wonderland. wonderland. Okay, what do you got? Oh, man, what is that? It's just a rock. It doesn't look that special. Yeah, it's a rock. So why would we give that to nice kids? Because if you shine a light on it, something special happens. <laughs> oh, man, are you kidding? Yeah. No, I'm not. Oh, wow. Red. If you oh, yeah, it, it turns red. You can see the red. like It's almost like uh, rubies. Yeah, rubies. Cute. I don't know how rubies. well that comes over on the TV, but, man, that is really cool. Yep, it doesn't come over as well. Oh, man, yep, and the darker it is... The, the more red it shines. It yeah, so that would be a super cool gift because then you could use the same flashlight you use for the Uber Light Rocks. Yeah. So that would be great to put right next to you. So just for that, why don't you go ahead and where's the, where is the green uranium rock? No, the green uranium rock. This one. The one that glows green. Oh. It's like a super, let's, let's show them that one because that's the same idea. Instead of glowing red, you can see it. Oh, oh yeah, there you can see. Now yeah. you can see that one really good. Those glow green. Look at that. With the same flashlights you use for the Uperlite. Show them the other side there. There's oh. even more green. There we go. Yep, then make sure they can see it. Another side. Oh, there we go. <gasps> wow. Another side. Look at all that green. Yeah. Man. That green is actually uranium. It's just not radioactive, so it won't hurt you. But it's really, really cool. It shines that super cool green light. All right. And do we want to show them one more? Um, Uber. Uber light kind of thing. Yeah. And this, this was a. Yep. Go ahead. Crystal. And we and McGizzy made a special discovery when he decided to do a little experiment once we set up our rock collection. And it was dark. Yep. It was dark, and he decided to use the the Uber light flashlight on. All of our rock collection, and he made an amazing discovery. Let's see if it shows up on the on the TV. This is what color is that? Are the crystals green? They're kind of greenish yellow. And then when we do the Uper light on them, uh, oh yeah, they, they kind of like gets a reddish pinkish color. You guys can't see it that well. Yeah, but it's really super cool. Yeah. 
And the yellow is sulfur. So if you find sulfur crystals, shine a light on it. We now know. Yep, shine a light on it because you'll get a really super cool fluorescent color under the under the flashlight. So that's a great way to start the show with with things that change color and are super special. So speaking of super special, what super special um, rock do you have to show for the audience next? Let's see. That rock doesn't look very super special at all. It looks kind of plain. Yeah. Why did you pick that one? Because I'm puzzled. it's actually very rare. It is? But it just looks like a rock. Oh, man. It's been cut. Wow. That almost looks like, like coconut or so creamy, milky color. What's the name of that stone? Dadalite. Dadalite. Yes, it is. And Dadalite is found around Lake Superior. So yeah. it's another special rock uh, unique to the uh, Upper Peninsula. Very and, rare. And, yes, and very rare. And to find a piece this big is super rare. Even at a rock shop. Yes, even at rock shops, the, most of the time you'll find much smaller pieces. So we got really fortunate to find that one. That is super cool, Dadalite. Yeah, that's one of Daddy's favorites. Yep. Okay, what else do you have to show? Everybody, oh, he's picking out something. Do you need help with that, mister? I can carry it on hand. Oh, man, that looks pretty fearsome. Let's hold it up together. You hold that end, and I'll hold this end. Wow. You see, one end has a special kind of end to it, like okay. spikes. Yep. And then this end is flat. So what is this, Mr. McGizzy? It's a mine drill that they used to... My, well, they, someone would have took a sledgehammer and pound it. Someone else would have hold it, and they would have pound it into the rock. And then you're lucky if you get five inches a day. Oh wow, yeah, and you're lucky if this guy who was ever holding it keeps their fingers from getting smashed. Yeah. Oh man, that's yeah. It was very hard conditions in the mines back before they had machinery. So that is super special. And this came out of a copper mine so this is an actual drill bit so that is super special so why don't you show us some of the copper you can get from a copper mine yeah what pieces do you want to pick out yeah that's good you can pick a couple well this one you can find yeah well oh, that one i think that's the one to show first yeah so here's what a piece of of more raw copper looks like so you got to turn it around. Oh, yeah. See, look how, how much shiny it is. And oftentimes green is associated with copper, too, when it, when oxygen hits it. So this has been all shined up. But you could find a piece of copper like that uh, in a copper mine. And guess what? We're going to have a really special show for you this summer because McGizzy and I are, are going copper hunting. We're going copper hunting at a real copper mine. Can you believe it? That's going to be a great show. Because we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get a um, a metal detector to detect the copper, and then rinse it off and clean it off and prepare it. So that's gonna be a super fun show. We're really looking forward to that one. Uh huh. And just so you know, we made a video like a couple, like an hour ago. So make sure to check that out. We were the very first ones to watch it. Oh yes. And what was show? What was that show about? Fossils. Yes, it was all about fossils. So, so you'll see um, some really cool things in that collection. And if you watch this one, like if you like immediately go to this one, then you might be the first one to watch it before me. Oh, wow. But that would be super fast. I don't think fast. that would be happen. Yeah. No way. Because I watch it like immediately. Yeah. We did this 20 second countdown. Yeah, it'll be an instant premiere as soon as we finish um, doing the the rest of the show yep okay what else do you want to show our, our our good audience they were very nice this year so they get to see really nice things in this show ho 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 oh yeah that's good we've already shown this one before but i really want to show it if you think the up is way up there this next thing is, is way way up there yeah and what is that a meteorite! That's a piece of a meteorite. So that came way from outer space. And then time for the test that you have to take in order for it to be a meteorite. That's right. There are some special properties to meteorites. Two tests. Yep. 
What is the first, first one? one. Magnetic. It's magnetic, yeah. Magnet will stick to it because it's got lots of iron in it. Second, heavier than a normal rock. It's like heavier than, it's like as heavy as... It is, oh man, it is so... It's like as heavy as this rock. This heavy. Is, it, rock is actually yeah, heavy. you're right. It's much heavier than it looks. Oh, man. How can you look that, Dad? So that is a meteorite. You can also see, like, where it's caught in fire. Yeah. Oh. And what, what kind of meteorite do you want to get in your collection eventually? A moon rock! A moon rock! That'll be super cool if we can add that to our collection. We'd have a whole show just about a, a moon rock. Like, as big it, a moon rock as big as this would cost a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's pretty rare. It's called a lunar meteorite. It's a piece of the moon that actually broke off and then went into space and landed on the Earth. Because you can't get moon rocks from the moon that the astronauts got. Okay, what is this? A diamond! Oh, yeah, that is called Herkimer a Herkimer diamond. diamond. Yeah. Oh, man, not again! I can skip twice! I can just add that twice! Oh, but that now it's fine. One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dad, 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 dad. Oh, oh wait, how many? You know what? Nine. That's ten. Okay. Put down that finger. Put down it. One. Okay. One. Okay. Four plus five. Nine. Ten! <laughs> yeah, Herkimer Diamond. Okay. Yep, that comes out of a special place, too, and I think it's George. No, I can't remember what state it comes from. We'll have to look that one up. This is one of my favorites okay. on the sale. It's very sparkly. Oh, wow. That is super big and green shiny. and very shiny. Yeah, we got that one at a rock shop in Paw Paw, Michigan. Okay, and speaking of another rock that's shiny, here is another big shiny rock that we have. It is... Very fragile. It is very fragile, but look how shiny that is off the black stone. It's a corborundum. Corabundrum. Yeah, so that is a very special one, too. So these are two very shiny, big rocks that we have in our collection. And like the Gizzy said, it is it is kind of fragile. It can flake off, so we do have to handle it with care. Here, I'll... Oh, man! Oh. oh, I was just kidding. That was my hand. <laughs> scared me. Yeah, we have to be very careful when we handle our collection. Okay, what's next, Mr. McGizzy? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh man, what's next? Bah! What? Sing. What are you doing? What are those? We. <laughs> Oh, man. How did that happen? Make your other hand go up. Oh, no. Down. Whoa. Down. No. And then... Wave your hands. In the air like I just don't care. And then... Break the computer. Oh, no. We're not going to do that. <laughs> that got me out of that spell. What are those? Those, you know what are special about these? These crystals? Were my very first crystals. Yes, they were the very first things that we started the whole collection with. So these are very, very special. We will always, mm. always put these in a place of honor. Yep, that started off the whole thing. Okay, what's next? I'm going to have to do... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Oh, man, cat. he's... Catch a... I think he cheats sometimes when he does eeny, meeny, miny, moe with daddy. Somehow it seems like if he wants to be picked, he gets it. And if he doesn't want to be picked, daddy gets it. I don't understand how he's doing that. 
Can I tell okay, you mister. If you get picked first, then it's going to land on me. <gasps> oh, man. That's Watch. how you trick me every time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by itself. If he howls, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, man. It works. Wow, I then didn't know that. If it starts on me, then it'll land on you. Oh, meeny, okay. Meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by itself. If he howls, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, man. That okay. seems pretty simple. Next one. Oh, wow, that's copper. very shiny. Yeah, so that's copper that's been polished up. It wouldn't look like that when it came out of the mine originally, but then it got all polished up, and now it's just like beautiful, shiny copper. That's a super cool one. Yep. Okay, what else is that? Oh, man. Big green one. Yeah, this was a Christmas present, if I remember right. Maybe. Yeah, very big green calcite, like... Irish green, like go Notre Dame green. Yeah, and if you think of any other school that's green, don't. Um, it's Notre Dame. Uh, I can yep. actually think of some schools so, that like. Yeah, but well, I can think of schools that are brown. Oh yeah. New Covenant school oh, that I go to. Oh man, probably. so. Yep. So. Big green crystal, so beautiful. Yep. So we really like that one. Uh, that catches people's eyes right off the bat. Okay, what's next? Oh, wow. What you got there? Zebra calcite, because it looks like striped from the zebra. And this is actually the name we didn't like make this up. Yeah, zebra calcite. It's because super cool. There's some calcite going. Yeah. Yeah, it's banded, and it does. It looks like a lot like a zebra stripes. Those are so cool. Yeah. That's a great piece for a collection. Especially with what they're called. Oh man, I don't, I'm not feeling very good. I think I need to be healed or something. I need some help. Here's what, a golden my, healer. Oh, a golden healer? Oh wow. Oh man, I feel oh I feel so much better. Yeah, it's it's called a golden healer because the colors are supposed to make you feel. Look at how it shines that way. It makes me feel better. Yeah, it makes make me feel better and happy when you look at it or or touch it. So. That's really cool. A golden healer. That's a special crystal. Okay, what's next? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Not quite sure what he has up his sleeve. He's been pretty tricky today already. Thinking Daddy was naughty when he was really nice. What is he gonna do this time? He's sneaking around like a little sneaky sneaks. Where are you going? I don't know where he went. I hear the water running. That might not be very good for Daddy. Hope he doesn't come by with a bucket. What do you got over there, mister? Oh, man. What is that? What's the next rock you're going to show us? Obviously. I told you. You did? Okay, what is that? <laughs> I you told know. me no! You told me you were bringing a brick. Yeah. Oh, that's what you did while you washed it. Cause, yeah! Because it is a Petoskey stone, and when you get it wet, you can see better the pattern on it. Because when it's dry, it can be really hard to see. So this is an un, unpolished Petoskey stone. So if you polished it, it would come out even better in showing the, the pattern on it. But we got this one up in uh, Petoskey, Michigan. Isn't that cool? We got a Petoskey stone in Petoskey. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's next, mister? Yeah. Yeah, pick a good one. All right, what you got? Hey, where are you going again? I think McGizzy might be a little naughty. What do you think there? Put your comments down below in the comments section. Is McGizzy being a little naughty? Hmm, let's see. All right, mister, we got to get on with this show. <laughs> yep. What do you got next?
What is that? I already told you what it was going to be. Oh, that. man. No, you said it was going to be a brick. <laughs> Isn't that fossilized coral? Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's really super cool. Okay. Now, can I show the brick? Now, show me the brick. Where are you going brick. again? <laughs> this boy, I don't even know sometimes. He said he was going to bring a brick. That seems like a pretty simple thing. Hope he's not taking the brick out of my house. <laughs> no way. What I is that? It's a rock. That's a blue calcite. Yeah, we showed you a green calcite crystals before. This is a big chunk of blue calcite. It almost looks kind of like soap sometimes a little bit. With all the different blue colors and the shininess. So that is a super cool one. Okay, we got to wind this show down, mister. What's next? One second. One second? That's already been more than one second. Oh, wow. What's that? A sphere. Oh, yeah. A sphere, like a calcite sphere. It's kind of some greens and light greens and a little bit of golden brown stripe in it. Yeah, we have a special stand for that, too. So they didn't find it like that. They carved it into a sphere. Uh, to make it really cool for a, a nice part of your collection to look at. All right, what is next? Oh, let's do this one. We're doing a bunch. Yeah, well, he's putting the other ones down. This is a very special stone. It may not look like it. But it's a green stone, a state stone. Yeah, it's a green stone. It's the state stone of Michigan. And it's still one. in the rock. Yep, and there's another one. We got those special when we also got uh, the copper agate. Uh, we bought them. At a show down here in Michigan, but the vendor was all the way from Calumet, Michigan, yep. where Uncle Chris lives. Uh -huh. So that was super cool. Now we yeah. have. Oh, that's like a, an agate. another agate. That, Storm yeah, agate. Yep, that's been cut in in two, and we've got that part. So that was really cool. Yep, and then. And then... What? Yeah. I need to deliver these. You need to deliver these. Oh. No, let's just show I the audience to... these. Oh. Yeah, we just need to put them back. Okay, there we go. Okay, these, they're hard to show a little bit, are one and two and different pieces of copper. Dad, one second. I need to tell you something. You do? Yep. What? Go ahead. I'm actually Santa's agent. You are? I've been delivering those presents. Oh, man. Oh, that's what you've been doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some of you people who are nice, maybe you're going to get a special visit. From a secret Santa agent. <laughs> okay, but we're almost done with the show. I only see a couple more things. What do we have? So we have this and that. Oh, wow. These are very special. The book holder, basically. Yep, you could, a lot of people will use these as um, in the bookcase as book holders like that. Put the books in between. But it's an agate and it's super cool blue yeah. with some white. Kind of looks like ice. Almost, you put them back together. That is super cool. Yeah, we got that in the UP as well. And then one last thing. Last but definitely not least. But definitely not least, that's for we sure. We have the brick from the copper mine. Oh, yeah, this is a brick from one of the actual buildings at a copper mine at a place called the cliff mine and that was you saw that on a youtube video already that we made from this summer that actually, with our cliff mine adventure that found that one yep we found well, this one you found that one when it wasn't on film yes that's right oh that's and right and i found this one when it wasn't on film yeah and we found we found that one first and then daddy went back and found another one so we got two bricks from the cliff mine buildings yep which is really special because those mines don't don't run anymore, but we had a lot of time um, hunting for special collections. Yep, and if you be good, maybe you'll get a brick from a copper mine. Oh man, wouldn't that be something—a brick for Christmas? Or wow. maybe a moon rock. Oh, I hope Sandy gets. Hey, where did gets, that come from? I hope Sandy gets me a brick. A moon rock, because I really want a moon oh, rock, actually. Do you think McGizzy's been nice enough to get a moon rock for Christmas? Put it down in the like section. It's probably going to fall out of 
into the sleigh, but said, I live nearby, Santa. Oh, wow. Okay, that ends our show for today. So, uh, be nice and Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you soon.